for 110 million tribal population, our tribal brothers and sisters have had to wait for 70 years to see this day, is a kind of reflection on the polity of our country, I have to say this. As far as, uh, Aswati, your question about uh, now the Congress and the opposition probably says that all the insults and the barbs uh, that were thrown at um, this Purmo are a thing of the past. I seriously doubt it. I think the barbs and abuses are going to even increase now because let us remember it took Rahul Gandhi seven months and Ms. Sonia Gandhi 13 months to make their first courtesy call to meet the President COVID, Covind, who was a Dalit. So I don't know how long it would take for them to now meet the uh, our first tribal president. So they are not going to... Um, uh, forget, uh, you know, showering abuses at the president. As I said, it's only going to increase. My good friend Sanjay, Sanjay Jha, despite being a suspended congressman, I'm telling you, Navika, dig up the stats. He might have attended the parliament despite being a suspend, suspended congressman more than Rahul Gandhi. I'm telling you. And inc incidentally, when you brought out those statistics of the parliament and Rahul Gandhi attending, are you really sure... Because it depends on which parliament. I mean, I'm sure Thailand's parliament, Rahul Gandhi has had 99% attendance. And as far as my good friend Sanjay Jha saying disruption, can I please remind him that the three farm bills almost verbatim were in the Congress manifesto. And Congress stalled the parliament day in and day out, protesting against calling them black bills, dark bills, something that were in its own manifesto, Sanjay. So you should be the last person talking about disruption of parliament. I'm sorry to say that. But on number one, uh, away from the hyperbole and the outrage of the opposition, which possibly it is well within its right to outrage on any government step, the fact of the matter is that this is a long overdue revenue neutral GST council step. And for that reason, there was no objection in the GST council meeting that had all the state, state governments as well as the central government. That's point number one. Point number two, which is also very important, is that let me go back because I know what my good friend Sanjay Jha is going to say. So let, let, me, let me do a surgical strike on an MSA and ask him, or maybe rhetorically, do you know who was the person who said Paise paid pe nahi ukte hai, when he increased the diesel prices? Somehow, from somewhere, you have to get the money. You can't just keep on spending it and enter into a vicious cycle of debt. So you have to earn. Nobody likes taxes. Nobody likes raising taxes because obviously any government that raises taxes uh, is worried that it may actually lose the voters, uh, will get disenchanted, and will lose the elections. So no government likes it. But sometimes it is important. Number three, the point of the matter is that no state government, including the central government, is willing to put the petrol or fuel prices on GST.